Hello everyone. I'm North Hempstead Town Supervisor Judy Bosworth and I, along with our town board, are proud to present At Home with North Hempstead, a series of special programs for children, seniors, as well as entertainment for residents of all ages. I hope you enjoyed this special presentation and check back often for new content. Enjoy a trip with us as we take to the outdoors and celebrate the beauty of nature. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Judy Bosworth, and I'm the supervisor of the town of North Hempstead. I'm here with you today to celebrate a very special day known as Earth Day that falls every year on April 22nd. While we're all doing our part to stay home and stay healthy, we wanted to invite you to join us for this virtual Earth Day celebration. So let's get started. Did you know that this year will be the 50th anniversary of the very first Earth Day? So what is Earth Day? It's a day we remember to appreciate nature and learn ways to protect our environment. Earth Day is the largest, most celebrated environmental event worldwide. Did you know that everyone in the world can make the Earth a better place? That means you, your family, your friends can all make our Earth healthier and cleaner. Well, what are some ways to help our Earth? Well, we can use reusable bags instead of plastic bags. We can turn the water off while we're brushing our teeth. We can turn off lights when we leave a room. We can also make sure we never litter and never throw trash in our oceans. You know, our oceans are the homes of some very beautiful sea creatures. If we pollute the oceans, well, it's like throwing garbage right in these creatures' living rooms. It's so important for us to remember that our Earth is a home to humans and animals, and we must treat it well. Some of our elected officials will be joining us today to read books and recite some special poems for you. We have our town clerk, Wayne Wink, our receiver of taxes, Charles Berman, and our council member, Viviana Russell, who'll be reading Over and Under the Pond by Kate Messner. Then we have some other council members joining us. We have Veronica Lurve, Peter Zuckerman, and Marianne Delamonte, who will be reading Follow the Moon Home by Philippe Cousteau. Poems will be read by council member Lee Seaman and council member Angelo Ferrara. We also have a very special musical sing-along performance by Bach to Rock located in Port Washington. We hope you'll enjoy. Hello, this is Lee Seaman, town councilwoman, and I'm so happy to be with you this day. And it's all about this wonderful holiday and Mother Nature. So I want, wish to read to you a poem. Here it is. If you listen for the songbirds as they greet the summer sun and love the way the wind can make the trees sing just for fun. If you like to hear the ocean as it drums upon the shore, and imagine all the whales out there and hope they'll sing some more. If you think of all the animals as players in a band, each with a lovely tune to play, all needed on the land. And know that as a boy or girl, a woman or a man, you have a vital role to play in Mother Nature's plan. If you honor every living thing, as a part of nature's treasure. You're in tune with Mother Nature. So let's all sing her song together.
Each year, one of my favorite events is Earth Day, where we get to celebrate Earth's birthday. This year, unfortunately, we can't be together, but I thought if we could read a book together, it would be like spending Earth Day together no matter what. The book I'd like to read is called Over and Under the Pond by Kate Mesner, and the artwork is by Christopher Silas Neal. Let's read. Over the pond we slide, splashing through lily pads, sweeping through reeds. The water's a mirror reflecting the sky, sunshine, and clouds, then a shadow below. What's down there, I ask? Under the palm, Mom says. Under the pond is a whole hidden world of minnows and crayfish, turtles and bullfrogs. We're paddling over them now. Over the pond, we skim past tall rushes, whirligig beetles loop and twirl like skaters on a warm summer surface. Under the pond, minnows dart through waving forests of grass while a brook trout lurks ready to lunge. Over the pond, we lift and dip and pull past a row of painted turtles on a waterlogged tree. One, two, three. They slip off and away. Splash, gurgle, sploosh under the pond. Over the pond, cattails rustle and shush in the wind. Listen close. Cookery! Red-winged blackbirds race by. One has grass for her nest. Under the pond, a caddisfly larva builds a home of her own, a secret shelter of pebbles and sand. Over the pond, the shadows of trees lean from the shore. We coast under a low hanging branch. A moose looks up with a mouthful of water lilies. We've interrupted his lunch. Under the pond, beavers dive deep. They pump with powerful tails and rise to the surface with delectable roots from the mud. Over the pond, the wind gives us a push and stirs the light dappled leaves on shore. There on a branch, a new goldfinch teeters, finally ready to fly. Under the pond, tadpoles are changing, learning to hop. They're losing tails, growing legs, growing up. Over the pond, there at the shore, tall and silent and still, a great blue heron stares down into the deep. It tenses, takes one long-legged step, and strikes. It catches a wiggling quicksilver minnow from where it was hiding under the pond. Over the pond, we drift, heads tipped up to the sun. A woodpecker clings to a teetering pine, digging for ants. Under the pond, an otter claws for freshwater mussels. Over the pond, a sleepy dragonfly lands for a rest. His spindly legs tickle my knee. Under the pond, dragonfly larvae watch what swims by. They catch minnows in monster fast jaws. Over the pond, the shadows stretch. Ospreys circle on quiet wings. Raccoons and mink stalk the shoreline for supper. Under the pond, with a flip of a tail, a crayfish disappears in the dark. Over the pond, we head for home. We glide, swish, bump, right up onto shore as a far off loon calls good night. The sky turns from sunset to dust to dark. Night settles over the pond. The prowling catfish and drowsy turtles, the scuttling crayfish and tadpoles turn frogs, wading herons and stalking raccoons. 
in the hidden world under the pond. The end. And happy Earth Day! My name is Ben, and I'm from Bacharach in Port Washington, New York. And I was hoping you could join me for a little sing-along to celebrate this awesome planet that we live on, the Earth. Now, the Earth would be nothing if it weren't for the sunshine. The sunshine helps to keep us warm, but the sun also provides energy for all of the plants and animals on the earth to grow up big and strong. Can you guys help me sing a sunshine song? Good. Our sunshine song today is You Are My Sunshine. And if you don't know it, I'll teach it to you right now. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Can we try that all together? One, two, three. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine You make me happy When skies are gray You'll never know, dear How much I love you Please don't take my sunshine away Wow, that was some good sunshine singing, everyone. That was bonafide beautiful as the sunshine. All right, you guys. So, sunshine helps our plants to grow. What else helps things to grow? We need good soil, right? We plant our flowers in some good soil, and some sunshine warms them up and gives them energy. What are we missing? Oh, they need something to drink. That's right. They need the rain. The raindrops help our flowers to grow up big and strong and make a beautiful earth. I have not just one, not just two, not just three, but four rain songs for us to sing today. You might know a couple of them. Now for the first one, I'm gonna need you guys to pretend, to pretend, excuse me, that the rain is candy. And we're gonna stick our tongues out and we're going to try to catch the candy. We're going to go, ah, 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 You try. Ready? Ah, 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 Good job. If all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, so what a rain that would be. I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide. Here we go. and gum drops. Oh, what a rain that would be. Oh, it's raining. It's pouring. It's raining. It's pouring. The old man is snoring. He went to bed and he bumped his head and he didn't wake up till the morning. And when he woke up, it was a very rainy morning again. Let's sing. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He went to bed and he bumped his head and he didn't wake up till the morning. Now what other things might be seeing the rainy day today? Ooh, what about an itsy bitsy spider climbing up a rainy pipe? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. I bet that spider's saying, rain, rain, go away. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. My friends want to play. Rain, rain. 
think the rain hurt us. Can we try that a little bit louder? Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. My friends want to play. Rain, rain, go away. All right, my friends. Get ready to catch those lemon drops and gum drops at were lemon drops and gum drops. Oh, what a rain that would be. I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide. If all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops. Oh, what a rain that would be. Oh, what a rain that would be. Wow, you guys. Thank you for singing about the rain. We sang some sunshine songs. We sang some rain songs. We're really helping those flowers to grow into a big, big garden. I actually have a little garden song. I'm hoping that you guys can sing along. Inch by inch, row by row, gonna make this garden all it takes is a rake and a hoe and a piece of fertile ground. Inch by inch, row by row, nature bless these seeds I sow. Someone warm them from below till the rain comes tumbling down. Plant your rows straight and long, nurture them with a little song. Mother Earth will keep you strong if you give her love and care. An old crow watching hungrily from a stoop in yonder tree. In my garden I'm as free as that feathered friend up there. Everybody now, inch by inch, row by row, gonna make garden grow. All it takes is a rake and a hoe and a piece of fertile ground. Inch by inch, row by row, someone bless these seeds I sow. Someone warm them from below till the rain comes tumbling down. Till the rain comes tumbling everybody with a little song and a little bit of sunshine and a little bit of rain we grew a giant beautiful garden together good job everyone well my friends i have one more song to sing with you guys today it has four parts one two three four the first part goes a little something like this la 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 can you try? La 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 la. Good job. The second part goes la 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 la. Your turn. La 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 la. The third part goes la 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 la. Your turn. La 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 la. Last part, la 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 la. Let's try it all together. La 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 la. Good job, everybody. I'd like to build the world a home, furnish it with love. Grow apple trees and honeybees and snow white turtle doves. I'd like to teach the world to sing in perfect harmony. I'd like to hold it in my arms, keep it company. Let's try with those la la's again. Ready? One, two, three. La 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 la. La 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 
la la la la la. Wow, good job everyone. I want everybody to reach up way high up to the sky and reach way behind you and pat yourself on the back. That was wonderful. Great job, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for a little sunshine, rainy, earthy sing-along. My name is Ben, and from all of us here at Fox Rock, we just want to say happy Earth Day, North Hempstead, and have a great day. Bye! I am here to read a story to you. Follow the Moon Home. A tale of one idea, 20 kids, and 100 sea turtles. By Felipe Cousteau and Deborah Hopkinson. I always need help finding my way, especially in a new place. Before long, you'll feel right at home, Viv. I wasn't so sure. Welcome, Vivian called Mr. J. You're just in time for the fun. We're looking for a problem to solve. I got out my pencil and bit my lip. I rode my bike all over town looking for a problem. Mostly I got lost. On Saturday, I took Samson and Luna for a run on the beach. Mostly they pulled me. Let's make a gigantic hole, I gasped plopping down. My big digger and my little digger sprang into action. Suddenly, it was raining sand. Looks like fun, but be sure to fill in that hole, said a man walking by. It's nesting season. I smoothed out the sand and we all went to look. What do holes have to do with turtles? See the sand and the dog? It's because of the baby, said a voice. I whirled to see a girl from school. And here it says, loggerhead turtle nesting area. Do not disturb. I'm Clementine, she reminded me. Baby sea turtles need a clear path to the sea. Holes and sand castles get in their way. I didn't know we had sea turtles here. Samson pulled on the leash. We do. Oh. And look what happened to this baby, cried Clementine. Why are you going the wrong way, little one? Mr. J had told us to use our own eyes. So that night, Mom and I went back to the beach. See Mom and I at the beach? As darkness fell, we could see bright lights winking on one by one along the shore. That's it, I said, the lights. In the beach houses are the problem. Why is that, Mom asked. When baby turtles hatch, they follow the strongest light they see, I explained. So if they head away from the sea, they get dehydrated and they die. My heart sank as I stared at the houses. There are so many houses. How can we ask all of these people to turn off their lights? Most of these houses are vacation rental rentals, Mom said. That means new people come to stay every few days. We have to knock on doors every night. Clearly, I needed help to solve this problem, and I know just how to get started. On Monday morning, Clementine and I raised our hands. We told the class what we'd learned and observed about longer head sea turtles. The sea turtle eggs are staring to, starting to hatch. I went on to save the hatchlings we need the whole class, the whole town to help. And that's how Lights Out for Longer Heads began. Our classroom became the Loggerhead Lab. First, we gathered lots of information. We read books, we visited an aquarium and a sea turtle hospital. We asked someone from the South Carolina Marine Turtle Conservation Program to speak to our class. We all brainstormed solutions, choosing the best ideas. Then we got to work. We made posters and delivered them all over town. We wrote fact sheets for all the vacation beach houses. Even the dog is getting into the action. To pay for printing our flyers and posters, we held a bake sale. 
Andy, the coffee shop man, donated a whole pan of his famous granola. Happy to help. The editor promised to put my article in the community newspaper. Nice to have a new writer in town, she said. The printer gave us a page as a discount and he entitled For the Loggerheads. Rebecca and Max learned how to spread the word on the internet. Mr. J helped us write a press release. I was on TV as a class spokesperson. We invited volunteers for Scoot. S, South, C, Carolina, U, United, T, Turtle, E, Enthusiasts to a town meeting. When the big night arrived, the room was packed. The room buzzed with ideas. We talked about how to make our beach a great place for turtles. How to make nests and nightly patrols. What to do if hatchings got in trouble. At the end, we, dis we decided to form our own volunteer group. People cheered for our class. Mr. J beamed. I'm proud of you all. That was the best night ever until the last evening of summer school, we went on a turtle patrol. Lots of parents came too. Everyone smiled as we watched the lights along the beach go out, one by one. See, there are no lights. We had done it. Suddenly, a movement on the sand caught my eye. Over here, over here, I whispered. We crept closer, careful to stay quiet. A crescent moon showed on the waves. The sea glittered like silver. Soon the sand seemed to boil over with life. Tiny turtles, no more than two inches long, burst from the nest. We watched barely, daring to breathe. Would they know where to go? Then they were off, scurrying, scurrying over the sand and into the shimmering sea. We stood together, smiling and silent with wonder. Then just like the turtles, we followed the moon home. Trees, Trees, Trees by Michelle Pora. Trees can be short, trees can be tall. Whatever kind, I like them all. They give us oxygen, they give us air. We give them love, we give them care. We take care of each as if they were our own, from when they are seedlings to fully grown. From berries to cherries, from apples to grapes, they give us different fruits and grow different shapes. With their colorful leaves and long brown trunk, we know that the beautiful trees are not junk. They need water, soil, space, and light. We give them those things day and night. So today we all say hooray for the tree's special day, which is called Arbor Day. We hope you had a great time watching our virtual Earth Day celebration. Before we go, do you think you can do at least one good thing for the Earth every single day? Sit down and talk with your family today to come up with some ideas. Together, we can make a world of difference. So from all of us here at North Hempstead, have a wonderful Earth Day. And for me, I'm so happy to be with you all this very wonderful day. Thank you. Happy Earth Day, everybody. I hope you enjoy. Happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day, everyone. Stay safe in these troubling times and enjoy a happy Earth Day birthday. Happy Earth Day, everyone. Each of us need to do our part to protect our environment every day. Please do yours. Happy Earth Day, everyone. Have a wonderful Earth Day.